so practically what it looks like is Jesus said this. He said the worshipers of God to the Samaritan woman will worship in spirit and truth. See, our problem is even as we talk about life, we talk about history, we generalize it. We're generic about who we are, what's happened. Remember what Jesus told that woman? He said, no, you've had five husbands and the one that you're with now is not your spouse, right? In order to experience it, we just try to go straight to the spirit. Spirit, just do some work. Jesus said in order to have change, you have to have both truth, painful, shaming, convicting truth first, and then spirit is that healing balm. And so what it practically looks like, especially for those of us who are Americans, one, we put down our patriotism and our nationalism and our exceptionalism and our assumption that because we rewrote the narrative of our history, that we're the savior of the world, when in actuality, we have just as much repenting and just as much mission and just as much need for grace as the rest of the world. And I think the more we can tell that truth, the more we can experience that richness of the spirit um, and keep us from being in bondage to this lie that somehow, some way, if we can reconstruct the story, then we can get a different outcome.